a sign of hope. Medostron, the center for ion beam therapy and research in Wiener Neustadt, where a new dimension of radiation therapy meets internationally renowned research. The heart of the facility is the so-called synchrotron, unique in Austria. By generating protons and carbon ions, Midostron is one of only a few centers worldwide to offer a combined therapy. A total of 160 international experts are working together with external researchers to further advance methods in the fight against cancer. The idea behind Medostron had been developed over 15 years ago. In 1999, the government of Low Austria decided to fund the project, which then soon picked up speed. Between 2000 and 2004, a first design study was developed. Three years later, the EBG Medostron was founded as a company with limited liability and with the goal to build and operate Medostron as an outpatient clinic. In 2007, a cooperation contract between Medostron and CERN was signed. At the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva in Switzerland, a team of Medostron physicists and technicians worked together with experts from CERN to develop the particle accelerator. For four years, they worked on designing, conceptualizing, and producing the facility and its components. No matter what was needed, each part had to be specifically developed for Midostrom. Simultaneously, the process of constructing the building in Wiener Neustadt started. In early 2008, the city of Wiener Neustadt handed over the property on which the facility of Medostron was built. The first visible clue of Medostron was the construction sign. In the following year, the first excavators arrived and sample drillings were performed. In 2010, the first radiation oncology specialist started his training for Medostron at the University for Radiation Therapy and Radiation Oncology at the Federal Hospital in Salzburg. On March the 16th, 2011, the official groundbreaking ceremony of Medostron took place. About 400 high-ranking guests from science, economics and research attended the celebration in Wiener Neustadt. Its innovative construction allowed the completion of the building within only 18 months. Reusing the already existing excavation material instead of concrete was very cost-efficient and saved time. Within the first eight months of construction, 55,000 cubic meters of concrete and gravel were processed. At the same time, 
the first employees of Medostron participated in conferences to profit from the knowledge transfer of experts and specialists. Additional cooperation secured the further development and growth of Medostron and ensured scientific collaborations beyond national borders. In November 2011, the topping out ceremony was celebrated in Wiener Neustadt only eight months after the initial start of the project. With that, the construction of Medostron was on schedule and work inside the building's roughly 400 rooms could start. of Medostron has started to beat. With these words, the governor of Lower Austria, Dr. Erwin Prohl, generated the first test beam at CERN in March 2012. At Medostron, two types of particles are used to treat cancer patients or conduct research, protons and carbon ions. In October 2012, Construction works were completed in Wiener Neustadt and the employees of Medostron moved into the new building. In January 2013, the ion sources were handed over to Medostron. For the first time, the public was invited to visit the facility. The large crowds confirmed the great interest of the local population in the project. Later that year, works on the particle accelerator started in Wiener Neustadt. The synchrotron is composed of over 1,000 components from 230 suppliers in 22 different countries, and building the accelerator took about 18 months. At the same time, also the medical technology arrived at Medostron. These highly complex systems are used to treat patients with the accelerated particles and were developed for Medostron in cooperation with various partners from industry and research. In November 2014, the first accelerated proton beam was extracted into a treatment room. In the following year, the particle accelerator was commissioned for patient treatments. Over 85,000 parameters needed to be adjusted. In summer 2016, the medical physicists at Medostron took up their work on the accelerator. They adapted the physical configurations for medical use. Parallel to this, certification of the accelerator was in full progress. In August 2016, one irradiation room was officially handed over to a team of researchers conducting non-clinical research at Medostron in the fields of medical radiation physics and oncotechnology as well as applied in translational radiation biology and medical radiation physics with a focus on ion beam therapy. Arguably the most important days in the history of Medostron so far took place in December 2016. On December the 13th, the particle accelerator was successfully certified as a medical product. Already one day later, the first patient was treated with protons in Wiener Neustadt. Today in the year 2017, Medostron is one of the most cutting-edge centers for ion beam therapy and research worldwide. 
Its development and history show how a once visionary project has become reality. Realizing Mid-Ostron has been a bold step into the future. A future that is happening today. Mid-Ostron combines medicine and research to facilitate a new hope for cancer patients and will continue to create further impulses for ion beam therapy.